Hi, welcome to Plus This. Today we're going to show you how to set up a Webinar Jam connection. So our Webinar Jam connection is designed to help you connect Webinar Jam with Active Campaign. And the reason why this is powerful is that this allows you to register people for your webinars using your own landing pages. So you can use things like ClickFunnels, your own website, lead pages, whatever you want to design those beautiful landing pages that are proven to convert more people to actually register for your webinars. And then you can also, because they're coming through Active Campaign, you can send out your emails from Active Campaign to get people to actually show up. You can do other automation, things like adding in SMS and countdown timers and all kinds of extra really good stuff that you couldn't really do if you were focusing only on using Webinar Jam to deliver all of this. So that's kind of the idea here. And um, we'll go ahead and we'll go through the steps to set this up. It's a pretty quick one here. Um, but before we do that, let's just give you some context here from the actual automation. So in the automation itself, we're going to trigger this by having someone submit a form. So when they come to that landing page and they fill it out, they can fill out a form and that gets them into active campaign. You can use a tag or other method to start this too if you have something else that you want to do to drive this. So if they already exist on your list, you can have them uh, click a link and apply a tag and that can start this as well. Essentially, once they've kind of submitted this goal or this form, we're then going to run the actual plus this element, which is a webhook here. So we have this little webhook option in Active Campaign. When we are done setting up the tool in plus this, we're going to give you a little URL that you just copy and paste in here and that will be your setup for this whole thing. And then once we have done that, now we can start sending them the actual reminder email. So let's go ahead and look at one of these really quickly. Um, so in your reminder emails, the plus this tool will allow us to plug in what their webinar join link will be. We'll also be able to plug in when the actual webinar starts too, which will be fun. Um, and that's pretty much it. So those are all the different pieces we're going to create with plus this. And something I'll just quickly note here, with Webinar Jam, you already have the power to apply tags if someone attended or missed your webinar with Active Campaign. So this part just comes naturally from Webinar Jam itself. And we'll focus more on the first part here with plus this. So now we're ready to go back to plus this and finish the setup over there. Um, so over here in plus this, we just need to start by picking which webinar we want to make this for. So the I made one for our tutorial. Let's use that. Um, we'll use the time that is set on the webinar jam uh, webinar. I've set up in webinar jam already. Um, and then we're going to store the join link. So let's use our webinar jam join link here and then these are some other options that you can do i'm going to skip them for now if i wanted to store the replay link i can do that um, or i can store the session date if i wanted to but i'm just going to keep this really simple i don't need that stuff right now so let's go over here the next thing that's kind of helpful is storing a human version of the actual start date so we might have like a human uh, webinar date. Um, so I don't have a field for this one exactly right now, um, but that's what you'll do for that. If you want to create a new one, um, you can just go in here and you can create your join links right from the tool itself. So let's go ahead and just use a human field I have right now. Um, this one looks good to me. And then we can pick the format we want this to be stored in. So we can say Thursday, February 6th. I like that. And now what we're essentially doing with this is when we finish saving this, we're going to use this field right here. And we're going to go into active campaign and in our emails where we have that join, you're going to want to, let's click on edit really quick. You'll be able to select this in the spot where you want to tell them when that starts, go to personalize and then go over to your date and use whatever field you use for this to tell them, hey, the webinar is on Thursday, February 6th. The last part you're gonna do is tell them what time. So you can store that if you want, or you can just type that in. Usually I just type it in because it's not that much harder to add the actual time in here. Um, so this demo will start on February 6th at 1 p.m. 
Pacific, something like that, right? You can even just type in the actual start date. Like there's no reason you have to use this thing to import it, but if you like to, that's kind of what that does, just to give you some context there. All right, so we got that. We can do the session time if we want. We can humanize that session time if we want as well, make it look exactly how we want um, there. But I'm gonna skip that because that's something we don't need right now either. And then we can apply a tag after successful registration. So let's do webinar registration. Um, cool, cool, cool. So we'll add a tag for that. And then what that essentially does is when we go back to our automation here, just to be safe, before we send any reminder emails, we wanna just make sure like that actual registration has finished doing what it needs to do and storing all that information. So we can just set like a goal here and we can say, wait for registration, wait for registration to process. And we know that's process if they have that goal. So we just go here, we can say, yep, let's do contact details, has that tag, and the tag we just created was the webinar registered tag. So you can go ahead and just put in your tag for that, click save, and then we will tell it to wait, and we're done. Cool, so now it's gonna register them. It's going to wait until that's completed and then it's gonna send them the reminder emails with all that information stored from Webinar Jam. And that's really all we have to do for that. So let's go ahead and save this now. Call it um, Webinar Jam uh, Test. Click Save. And now here's the final piece. So we just go ahead and we'll click Copy. We'll go back to our campaign now and this is where that webhook is that triggers plus this to collect all that information from Webinar Jam and put it into Active Campaign for you. So it's going to actively uh, register people for that webinar, store all their join times, their join links. Um, it's gonna apply that tag when that's all done. This all happens seamlessly, really, pretty quickly there. And, um, and then they'll get their email with their confirmation and the reminders and so on and so on. So you've just created your quick little Webinar Jam automation here, and it's really, really easy. So if you have any other questions, go ahead and check out our tool information portal. Here we have things on the configuration sections and FAQs and all this other stuff here. You can click here to go to our knowledge base as well. And if you ever need to reach us, you can always email us at help at plusthis.com. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.